Terry here, D-Lab, and today we're going to do a little bit of myth busting about the standby switch function on two guitar amps. I've got a Marshall here, has solid state rectifiers. I'll show you the current traces on that. And then I have a Fender type amp that has a GZ34 rectifier tube, also with a standby switch. We'll do a little comparison and see if there's anything that you need to worry about on those standby functions. So to perform this test, I have this Cadillac of a Tektronix scope with a clamp-on current probe. So this will go right in line with the high voltage going to the output transformer, which feeds the output tubes. This is a very sensitive probe, good down to a one milliamp of current with high precision. So here is a typical current trace that we'll be looking at. This would be your current peak, and then we'll come down to idle. Now all these little lines you're seeing here, that's not real. That's a digitizing effect of the scope. What we're really looking at is the average DC current on this trace. Marshall 50 watt amp running a pair of EL34's. Standby function is on and we're just going to turn on the main power. Marshall amplifier again. Tubes are warmed up and now we're going to toggle the standby switch. So my conclusion of the standby circuit on a Marshall amp with solid state rectification, there's not a whole lot of difference between just starting the amp up with the standby switch on or toggling the standby function. You can see that by the current traces. They both draw quite a bit of current when they first fire up but quickly fall off and the tubes go to their idle current. So for the next test I have a Fender style lamp. It's actually a Lafayette that runs a pair of 6L6's with a GZ34 rectifier tube. So it should be very close to the standard Fender amp configuration. Here's the dual 6L6 GZ34 amp full on standby on. Same amplifier, tubes are warmed up, now we're going to switch on standby. Alright, so let's watch the current on this uh, GZ34 free running. I'm going to turn it on. We're at 10 milliamps per division. You can see the slow rise of current. And there's the tubes idling. Now I'm going to go to standby mode. So we're back down to no current. Now I'm going to turn standby on. So it's plain to see that keeping your standby on and having a GZ34 amp, you get a much smoother ramp up of current. When you use your standby function, you get a spike of current. On the Marshall amplifier, you get a spike either way with those solid state rectifiers because you lose that cushion of the tube rectifier. So in my opinion, the tube rectifier will protect your output tubes and it should give them longer life. All right, well, hopefully, this clears up some of the questions about standby switch operation. It's very clear to see that standby does generate a spike in current. Whereas if you just turn on your amp and allow the tube to naturally warm up, you're going to get a nice smooth current ramp to your output tubes and that should extend their life. Hope you like the video.